why do we need pre-oxidation in our operation? Well, we need pre-oxidation, short answer, to preserve our cyanide and to make sure that our cyanide consumption is as low as possible and that our leaching kinetics and leaching extent in terms of recovery of gold is at maximum. Now, there are elements in the ore that are called cyanocytes that are undesirables, unwanted guests at the party, and that's iron, Fe2+, that, that's the, the one uh, element that's a problem, and the other one is sulfide, and both of them actually steal cyanide. So they will, they will steal cyanide, iron will form ferrocyanide, and I think it takes six cyanide ions. One ion will take six cyanide ions, and sulf a sulfide will form theocyanate, and it takes one, one cyanide ion. So we don't want to form these species. We don't want to form theocyanate. We don't want to form ferrocyanide because they're not the objectives of the operation. They're stealing cyanide and preventing you from actually forming orocyanide. This is your product. So you don't want this competition. We want to get rid of the competition. How do you get rid of the competition is you've got to oxidize this Fe2 plus into Fe3 plus. So that's the first step. So you need oxygen. You need oxygen in solution, properly dissolved, which is what the Mach gives you. So again, the, um, as the pulp is moving through the cavitating venturis and we're forming these pickle bubbles, uh, we're also diffusing oxygen into those pickle bubbles and dispersing it very well into the pulp. And hence oxygen is available, dissolved oxygen is available to get this conversion of Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus oxidizing the iron. And what happens then because of the higher pH environment of uh, gold leaching um, slurries, which is usually above 10, um, we get iron hydroxide precipitate forming. So this is a solid, so it, it drops out of solution and it is no longer available for reaction. So when, once you precipitate it, you've neutralized it, if I can use that word, and it can no longer steal cyanide. So that's, that's the one uh, a purpose for preox. And then the other, the other reason we have preoxidation, as I said, is the sulfide or the S2 minus that forms theocyanate and steel cyanide that way. What we would need to do here is oxidize the S2 minus, the sulfide, into a sulfate ion, which is still in solution, but in that form of sulfate, it does not actually steal any cyanide. So you sort of neutralize the effect of the of the sulfide as well, right? So if you do this, you do a really good job with this, you should not have any excessive loss of cyanide that you add in, because this is a very expensive reagent. So when you add it in, almost all of it is then available to the gold for leaching, and you can form your oral cyanide. You don't have the thieves coming out of the, out of the shadows, so to say, stealing that cyanide, because you've already taken care. You've contained that situation before you've added it cyanide in so that's what's happening in, in in solution but the other the other objective is where does this iron and sulfide come from in the first place it's actually coming from the ore so gold is commonly found in sulfidic or iron sulfide ore so that's the background sort of matrix is iron and sulfide and that can leach into solution just as the gold leaches this iron and sulfide comes from the actual rock right so the other purpose of pre-oxidation is this iron hydroxide precipitate that we form, we can also form that as a passivating layer on the iron sulfide surface as well. So we drop it out on that rock that is, that is causing this iron <laughs> and sulfide to go into solution. We passivate that rock, we coat it with this iron hydroxide and we prevent further leaching out, deleterious, unwanted leaching out of the Fe2 and S2 minus. So further down the line in your CIO where you have cyanide, you're not going to be generating more of these species um, as the leach process goes on. So in a nutshell, that is that is the purpose of pre-oxidation. If we do a good job with it, we'll reduce cyanide with the Mach reactor by as much as 25%. You can um, halve your leaching time. Sometimes you do it in a quarter of the time. So you can reduce the, the size and, and the footprints of plants, etc. And most importantly, you can improve gold recovery and improving the bottom line is what everybody wants to do.